What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again, super, super early in the morning with Classroom of the Elite. Today, we are doing the season two finale, episode 13. I don't have the title yet because it should be coming out any minute now. I am very excited. Real quick though, before we get into anything, I wanna let you guys know, for those of you who don't know, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. So click the link on the top of the description. Enjoy that free full length for the finale closeout. If you do enjoy that format and wanna consider keeping that for the future, maybe check out that Patreon. Great benefits, great community, great time over there. Also, if you guys could leave a like, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Let's hop right into this finale. If it even is half as good as last episode, we're in for a treat. Um, I, like I said, I don't have the title right here, but Classroom of the Elite Season 2, Episode 13. Let's do it. All right, here we go. The worst enemy you can meet will always be yourself. That's kind of deep. Some self-reflection going on. If I'd felt afraid, the whole mindset, whole life, every... The, the, right? Your entire life path would be so different. It is crazy to think about. One small decision can really diverge you. This is something I w wouldn't really expect. Ibuki and Riyuen having a... Are you withdrawing? You know you do something as a Yanokoji when you beat the self-reflection into Ryuan. And he's over here watching. I'm so curious. So we're not... He still can be useful, so we still need him? Anyone that can be useful, you know. And even less presence. Facts. I mean, I don't even think... He's a man of layers. I don't even think you or me have gotten fully down there, okay? Deep, deep, deep down. Hmm. Shouts out. <laughs> Shouts out, Kay, having a crush on the boy. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yep, her friend uh, Sato. She's like, hey, Kay, should I ask him out or what do you think? Now she's starting to actually think like Ayano Koji, which is, you know it's not there for that. So let's go back towards the first one. Oh, Big A is calling, sub boy. She, she answered way too excitedly. Uh-oh, got already back on mission duty. I know, right? Oh, really? <laughs> He's not asking. He didn't care. And he already hung up. Ayano Koji. The true definition of playing hard to get. Won't even let her call make fun of him. I do like how much time we get to spend inside Kay's thoughts. You can tell... She's not the most secure. She still has confidence issues. But she truly does like Ayano Koji. And I, I like that. Oh yeah, Manabu's uh, side of the of the promise, of the deal. Yeah, right? Like, where does this come from? And he's not, he's not beating around the bush. Someone beating around the bush. Oh, never mind. It's so interesting how her tone changes so much when talking to her older brother. I mean, I get it so much. It's just she never has this tone with anyone else in the show but him. Completely understandable. Just like the last couple episodes, Yano Cody said he's going to lay low. Is that Kushida? Yep. No. Merry. <laughs> Hell no. Even though I do got to say it back. Merry Christmas Eve. I do love me some Christmas, my favorite holiday. Because you can still be useful. Ooh, a little chat. Never would have ever thought this would happen. I love the music that plays when Ayano Koji has conversations and shit like this. Right? That's what I would be asking. What's your plan for me now? Like, 
the mastermind. We all know. Come on. Are we really going to be using Ryuen now? That's I mean, we, He is the reason he's still here. We do got to go up from C. So B. So A. He did lose his motivations from Chabashira. Okay. Wait, wait to have a wait to have a work around. Which is what? I mean, she will sabotage us the entire journey up through A, you know? Treatment can keep cancer at bay for a time, but unless it's excised, it will never truly go away. It's kind of a bar, especially when talking about Kushida. May even spread? Oh, he's already had plans 10 episodes ago. When he makes a face like that and says a statement like that, it's it's gonna happen. The only matter of fact is when is it going to happen? Mmm, the double date is going down. I, I love the all the winter outfits. Kay's little pink puffy jacket, Hirata's. So even though Sato and Kay were talking about this before, they're trying to make it like an impromptu double date, you know? Double dates in terms of the girls already being friends beforehand and the boys already being friends beforehand, it uh, makes it way less awkward. Way friendlier. So I'm always down for a double date. And seeing a movie too? You know me, I'm always, I'm an avid movie seer. Oh, gotta cry. Well, that was a fun little date. I'm loving the Christmas decorations around the campus. Where are you guys gonna stop? She's giving you some signs, Iyano Koji, even though I know Iyano Koji's not interested at all. But she's, uh, she's giving signs. I get you, Sato, but you just gotta realize he just doesn't smile. <laughs> just, <laughs> that's just him, you know? There's nothing you can do about that. Never mind. God damn. <laughs> now I feel nervous about what he's going to say. Nice try, girl. I get you. I appreciate the effort. With the snow falling and everything. It would have been such a beautiful moment, you know? You don't have to be so blunt, my boy. Oh my god. That helps a little bit. It's not just you, Sato. It's not you, it's me. Literally, is what he's saying. It did. A little bit. But to be fair, your average person's not as slow as the Yano Koji. Damn, man. That's rough. You know she's crying. I mean, he said it himself. Ooh. I know, right? If there's one thing Kay's gonna like to hear, it's that. <laughs> Unsuitable replacement. Yes. <laughs> Not even denying it. In terms of what he just said, not feeling any affection for anyone so far, you guys were telling me in the comments that when his dad was kind of using the death of the butler who helped him escape the white room as kind of leverage to see if Ayano Koji gives or cracks at all, um, you guys were telling me in terms of people in the world that that butler was probably highest on his list, like the closest who Ayano Koji had affection for and also clearly had affection for Ayano Koji because he helped him risk his own job career to do that. Um, so... The fact that the butler did die did affect Yano Koji. I appreciate you guys telling me that. It's just so hard to tell sometimes with such a stoic main character, you know? Like, this dude is built different. Aw. I love their relationship. She has, like, this, stop being mean, I know you're using me, but I still love you, so fuck it. Here, you know? <laughs> and she was the only one who said happy birthday to him. Oh, he got her something as well. Oh, because you're going to catch a cold. Oh, that's kind of a... Also, I don't know how to feel. It shows he worried about me, which it absolutely does. But you guys told me it specifically says in the light novel that when he's going to save Kay during her torture episode last episode, he waited 30 minutes on, on purpose just to so she could fucking deal with some shit. I don't know, like... 
I don't know how to feel about Yano Koji. It's one of those rare shows where I don't know his motivations, his ambitions, what he wants in life, what his actual goals are, what his backstory is, and we're two seasons into the show. All of this was a part of the play? This man? This man's a manipulating master! Yeah. Like, it's one thing to have a plan when it comes to the efficacy of doing things, like, physically. Like, when it comes to Ryuen fucking with Class D or moving Class D to Class C, Class B. Like, there's physical, but, like, manipulating someone mentally as hard as he's done K genuinely makes me feel a little scared. <laughs> like, damn. He purposefully made her wait to the point of almost breaking so she would regret have 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 issues with their relationship and their transactional relationship but then saves her shows the genuine worriedness for her and now that lingering doubt has now solidified as solid trust and dependency like that's like like i know gaslighting is a term that is used as just like as like a meme nowadays on tiktok and stuff like that but i'm i'm never gonna be friends or in a relationship with yano koji She's an effective pawn. Oh my god. But what? Don't end don't don't just leave it on the butt. Don't just leave it on the butt. Please have feelings for her. Would that not be amazing if K was able to change the Yonokoji into being like a different person? Oh my god, like oh, that's how it ends! I need season three right now. You know, if you see a cane, it's never a good sign, because that girl, Saka Yanagi, is on her way. Yes, especially with us now dealing with Ryuen and Class C, apparently. It is nice to officially make your acquaintance, Saka Yanagi. She knows way too much information. The false genius. Oh... See, that's the difference between Ryuen and Saki Anagi. He's the physical competition for Yano Koji. She's the mental competition. And I'm actually way more nervous for her next third season. No! Well, I started off this reaction somewhat sleepy. I won't lie, because like I said, it's very, very early in the morning for me. But I am ending this alert and ready to go. Who needs coffee when you have a good episode of anime? Yeah, that's all you need. But I love the way it ends. And... It felt like, don't get me wrong, this felt like a finale because it's perfectly transitioning us into resoluting this arc into going into the next one perfectly. I'm seamless like that, except it felt like Game of Thrones where the episode before the finale is like the crazy climax, which generally that's how stories go, climax and then resolution. So last episode being as crazy as it was, but then this episode being crazy like on a different level, like that's why I'm really enjoying the whole aspect. Like I never really thought of it like this, but now knowing how smart her dad is as well as her saka yanagi specifically like i don't know how on point they're trying to make this or how on the nose but you look at ryuen who besides albert and um koenji is the biggest and pseudo was like the biggest physical specimen there and he's the physical competition for yano koji but then you have the flip side which is saka yanagi who's literally she can't even walk by herself like without a cane so she's the exact opposite she's not a physical threat but she's probably beyond a mental threat if she has the balls to come do this on christmas eve or christmas we know she's been watching she's, she's been spying we know her dad's got connections she knows about the white room she called him the false genius like with how crazy last episode was is that doesn't make sense but with how crazy last episode was the fact that this episode leaves me still that excited that crazy and all it was was a double date and introduction like come on like that's just that just goes to show how much in classroom of the elite has you invested you know i was taken back by ayano koji's blunt just i want to say tough love but you need love in there for it to be tough like I don't know. that man but i love the way we left it on a lingering question He's like, 
the way he explained how he manipulated her and uh, the genuine trust now and how she won't betray him like the fact that she didn't betray him already with Ryuan before she could be getting stabbed and she's not betraying him now like she is rock solid i i firmly believe in that but the way he was explaining that just shook me to the core i'm like i don't know there's just something about manipulating a person like that that's just like wow that's so fucked up it's like some game of thrones type shit it really is but i'm really excited about saki and nagi you know the relationships but even though he did manipulate k he said hey will i relate will will i always be like this i i technically am still in there deep deep down like k was saying there's layers you know deep down he said he's never felt affection towards anyone the whole conversation he had with sato i felt so bad she was crying i'm like god damn that hurts you know oh and he's gonna use ryu oh my lord man the moves the moves the moves the moves i love how at the beginning of this season like the poster and the image was ryuen versus ayano koji now i'm i'm hoping the next one's gonna be even though you think it's uh sake and i'm hoping it's ichinose and then season four or whatever maybe katsuragi and then Sa i don't know i just think sake and is gonna be the big big bad i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed the season though hopefully you guys did as well if you did Please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Uh, much appreciated, y'all. Don't forget. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm out of it. Uh, check out that Patreon. Early access, full length, all that jazz. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that free full length. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.